Good morning, everybody, beloved children of God. How are you today? I am Pastor Maureen Howard of Emanuel Lutheran Church in Washington, Iowa, and you are listening to Storytime with Pastor Maureen. I am so glad that you have joined me this morning for a story out of the Bible. Well, we will be reading from the Sparks Story Bible. Uh, the publisher is Augsburg Fortress out of Minneapolis. And the story today that we'll be reading is called Doubting Thomas. So are you ready? All right, I'm in my rocking chair in my office and I'm ready too. So let's begin. The disciples were hiding in a house the night Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors. Jesus came and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed him them his hands and his side so that they would know it was him. The disciples were very happy. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. God has sent me to you. Now it's your turn to tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, With this breath. I will always be in your hearts, even when I'm in heaven. You now have the power to do the things I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple not there that night. When he got back, the others excitingly told him about Jesus's visit. Well, let's look at the picture. Jesus has come to the disciples and has already left. And so you can see Thomas is right here in the middle. And look at the excited faces of the other disciples saying, Jesus came to us. He came right through the locked door. We didn't even have to unlock it for him. He just showed up. And, and look at Thomas's face. He's like, huh, I'm not going to believe it unless I see it myself. No way, no way. And so <laughs> the, the dis other disciples are trying to convince him that Jesus really was there. And can you find Squiggles, the caterpillar? Can you find him? Oh, there he is, right there next to Thomas. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus' wounds. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus again and Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt anymore. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped. My Lord and my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, you believe because I'm here with you and you've touched me. Think of those who have not seen me, but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see it for yourself. And here's the picture of Jesus. And you can see Jesus. Let me pull it back a little bit. There's Jesus right here. And you can show, see that Jesus is showing Thomas the wound in his hand 
where the nail would have gone through to nail him to the cross. And you can see Thomas right here. And look at his eyes popping out. And Thomas is going to touch Jesus and he says, my Lord and my God. And so there is the picture of Jesus and Thomas a week later. And can you find Squiggles? Do you see Squiggles, the caterpillar? Oh, there he is. He's right there by Jesus's arm. And so here's the story of doubting Thomas. And so Jesus gives us that same breath, breathes us the Holy Spirit. We each have the Holy Spirit too. And so Jesus gives us courage and Jesus gives us the words to do exactly what he's told the disciples to do. Go out into the world and tell everybody about me, about Jesus. And so we can do that too. We can tell our friends and we can tell our neighbors and we can tell our families all about Jesus and how much Jesus loves us and how Jesus died on the cross on Good Friday and how they laid him in a tomb and we waited on Saturday and three days later, Jesus rose from the dead and walked out of that tomb and how Jesus is now with us in a very special way through the giving of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we each have that Holy Spirit, a piece of God. God himself is with each and every one of us. And so children of God, you are deeply loved and you have that job too, to tell everybody, not to be shy about it, but to tell everybody about the love Jesus has for the world. And so Leah and Ashlyn and Taryn and Sophia and Vanessa, you have that job too, to tell all the people that you know that Jesus loves them and Austin and Alexander and Nick and Christian and Kylie and Teresa and Tana. Jesus loves you so very much and Elena and Noah and Riley and Danica. Jesus says to you, you are my special children. I look at you and I see that you are precious and I see that you are treasured and I see that you are worthy. Jesus looks at us and says, I make you enough. You are enough. You don't have to be any different. You are enough because Jesus says, I love you. And so children of God, let's on the count of three, say, Jesus loves me. You ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. And so in this time of social distancing, in this time when we have to be separated from each other, it is so good to know that we are loved and we're wanted just as we are. Yes, we're wanted by God and we're loved by God. So children of God, you have a very blessed day today and you know that no matter what happens today, you are wanted you are precious, and you are deeply loved. So children of God, I'll see you tomorrow again for another story with Story Time with Pastor Maureen. 10 o'clock in the morning, you have a wonderful day because you are loved. 
Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow.